Hey, it's Case! Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you are new here. My name is Casey. Hello everyone. Sorry for the lighting. I'm gonna straight up say that. I had daylight, but then I had to go to Wegmans and get subs for dinner and um, waste a little bit of time doing that. So I lost my daylight and now I just have my room light to enhance my beauty, which is just great because it's casting a nice shadow in that direction. Oh, hi, shadow. Today I'm filming for you a what's in my clinical bag, which is just going to be like a quick little video, hopefully under 10 minutes if we can do it right. And if I'm looking a little haggard, it's because I did have clinical today. If I look a little sweaty and used and abused, it's because I am stinky, sweaty, and just ready to get out of this uniform like as soon as possible. But since I had clinical today, this is a tried and true version of what is in my clinical bag. Because really, what is in my clinical bag? So this is my... <laughs> This is my clinical bag. Without any further ado, let's get into this video. So I carry to clinical my Long Chomp Le Pliage bag. Um, I've had this bag for quite a few years, so it's pretty used and abused, just like me. But I love this thing. It's a very durable bag. I like it because it kind of matches my uniform. We have to wear for clinical these uh, can canvas color tan tops with navy bottoms. So that's our that's our clinical attire and we can wear a white coat with the emblem on it as well if we want to which I have hanging up over there but I'm never cold so I never wear it and um, obviously our name badge which I uh, don't need to wear anymore today this is basically just a big tote bag it has one pocket in the front and in that front pocket I keep a little bit of uh, well it's a roller ball it's Taylor Swift's Wonderstruck, Enchanted Wonderstruck. It smells amazing. It is my fall scent. I keep it with me in here. Apparently that's where it is at the moment. I also have my little fan that plugs into my phone. It's a pretty nifty little contraption and you just literally plug it into where, where the phone plugs in and then it's a fan. And the reason I have this in here is because I'm always hot. Next, in no particular order, I'm just going to pull everything out randomly. There goes some one of my biggest essentials for clinical is my stethoscope and I have a Lipman quality stethoscope. It's one of those basic ones that everyone gets as their first stethoscope. I have one as well in the orange color which not too many people have. Orange and blue. It looks really pretty with my clinical bag. There goes my phone. Those are my uh, alma mater colors from SU. My first bachelor's degree. Need it. Gotta have it. On my stethoscope, I have a little pocket bag from Bath and Body Works on there. Not really to clean my hands, but more so just to smell something nice if I uh, come out of a room and it was a little stinky in there. Because you have to use the hand sanitizer supplied because it's real legit stuff. I don't know how accurate or effective the antibacterial is from Bath and Body Works. So it's really just for scent and for looks because it's just like a cute accessory on my, on my on my stethoscope that makes it my own. The next thing that I always take to clinical with me is my Mosby's Pharmacology Memory Note Cards. And everyone, not everyone, a bunch of people in my clinical group like to borrow this from me. It has every medication you could possibly think of in it. So it's just a useful tool for when you're looking up your medications and come to this book and it, it's nice it does fit in your pocket so you literally could put it in your pocket and it just has really cute like little animations to help you remember like the mechanism of action and all that good stuff that your clinical instructor will want you to know before you give your medication so it's a great book to have on hand not only for clinical but for school in general so I highly recommend that and then the next thing I have in here is this little handy dandy like first aid kind of situation. Um, it just has a bunch of like cosmetic supplies in it. I have tampons, chapstick, lip gloss, band-aids, Tylenol, lotion, hand sanitizer, more hand sanitizer, and handy wipes. Just like a bunch of stuff like that. It's clear 
little pouch that I got like for free at the fair or something like that. So it actually does come in handy. I actually gave one of my fellow peers on clinical some Tylenol the other day, so she was happy that I had that on hand. The second pen pouch that I have it was apparently open in my clinical bag. Right now it's housing a bunch of pens and my clinical scissors, whatever else it really needs to. I just keep tons of extra pens in my bag because you always need extra pens and I keep all my free pens. Any pen that I get for free, I always get a bunch of free pens. I have like a whole jar of them up on my filing cabinet. I just keep these for work because I'm not super sad if I lose them. Like if it's a pen that I bought and I like really like, I get really upset if I lose it. Whereas all these free pens, even though I might like it a, a whole lot, if I lose it, at least it was a free pen. My theory. The next thing I have in here is my wallet, which I bring to clinical. Sometimes I buy lunch. Most of the times I bring lunch, but I have that, you know, on me just in case, always and forever for everything that I do in life. I have my report sheet from today. So that was just crumpled up inside my bag. I have this tiny little um, long chomp lay, lay pliage little um, pouch and in here I just have hair ties, extra contacts, some saline solution and bobby pins, hair essentials in that little pouch. I like to keep little pouches and little compartments. Here's a free flowing, free ball and pen. I used this one on clinical today. It's from Excelsior College. And then I also like this one from Capella University. It's got a pen, a highlighter, and like sticky note tabs. I always bring this one with me. It's my favorite pen for clinical. I have some Icebreaker Duos in here. The Fruit and Cool Strawberry, strawberry in case we need some mints. I also have my pen light in here. Hopefully that didn't go out of focus. Essential for doing pupillary neuro assessments. So this one's nice. I got it on Amazon fairly cheap. It came in a two pack with batteries. It has your measurements on there. It has a nice little five centimeter ruler on there and it works just dandy. These were the three things in my pocket today on clinical. That's why they're just three falling in there. And then the last two things I have are this little file compartment holder. In here I keep a bunch of the printed policies that we that I use frequently on clinical, like my hospital policies, for like IV push, IV mini, and blah, blah, blah. IV push, IV mini bags, blood transfusions, blood draw. This is the fourth binder clipboard that I've purchased. This one is from Home Goods. They have supplies like this. I've also in the past gotten them from Target and Hobby Lobby, so you can find these like everywhere. This one's really cute, and I think it's perfect for like the fall and the winter and the holiday seasons coming up. And it just opens up and I have an extra report sheet in here and then it has a nice notepad so you can just write notes in there um, sometimes I write patient information in here that way I can close it up and nobody can like see it without like opening it obviously and then it's just nice to take report on a nice hard surface a lot of the floors in the hospital sometimes you don't have like somewhere to you know stand and write or sit and write so it's nice to have something on you at all times where you can get report and just have all of your stuff clipped on here in one place. A lot of the times I keep this guy right inside here, but sometimes I keep them separate as well. So yeah, that'll do it for what's in my clinical bag. Tell me what you guys keep in yours. Another essential thing that I always bring to me with clinical is a cup or a bottle of water and coffee. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found some good chips and tricks on things you should throw in your clinical bag. Let me know down below if you keep any of these items in your bag. And make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this from me. And I will see you all on another time. Bye everyone.